Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Would you look at what we've got in front of us? It's a good old fashioned fan mail video. It's been years since I opened my address up properly to the internet. I mean, I had my address publicly in Hong Kong, but no one's gonna send something there. Now I've been offering it to a few people who have asked on the internet, friends across America that have just really wanted to support the channel. We're gonna break open this little box. That is not how the UPS sent it, it was way more secure. In here we have three different packages from different fans, which is, it's just wonderful. It's just a great thing. If you're going to be asking after this video, I don't have a PO box just yet. So bear with me. If you want to send fan mail, you can message me and on a one by one basis, I'll offer the address. But yeah, we got one, two and three pieces of fan mail today. I'm so excited. The support from the community recently has just been outrageous. As you know, we've just increased our sub count by like 2,600 in the last 28 days. So it's it's a really crazy time and I, I really love that more fans are coming into the channel. That's why I extended the Christmas Toymation Fest deadline by another month because so many new people have entered this atmosphere, this environment, this channel this community. <laughs> so many new people have entered this community that I wanted to extend the Toymation Fest. Look what we got here. Wow. Okay, first of all, this is from Elliot to the domain. I am Ethan's brother. Yeah, we received some fan mail in Hong Kong from Ethan. I opened that on my Hong Kong house tour video and this is from Ethan's brother. So this is from Elliot. I am seven years old. I'm in second grade. I spent a lot of my money on it. <laughs> Ethan Reader, I see that you got my package. I thank you so much. I'm giving you all my support. I wish you the best of luck. Well, thank you so much. Um, Elliot and Ethan, I've talked to your mom already about this. You have a package coming from me within the next month, so bear with me on that. First of all, we got a Ziploc bag. Oh, this is Wildlife for Dioramas. <laughs> Would you look at that? Whoa, that's some kind of crazy Zeta Halo <laughs> pterodactyl thing. It's even got a little mouth. Yeah, mouth, tail, like some kind of frill. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I couldn't orientate it correctly, but there it is. It's some kind of little uh, dinosaur. Very cool, actually. That's funny. I really couldn't figure out which way round it went at first, but that's really nice. Dope. I will include this on my next diorama. That's a promise. And then we've got two Halo Infinite Series 3 blind bags. Wonderful, man, wonderful. So we're gonna open these. I think it's fair if Elliot spent a lot of money on this, uh, not only will I return the favor and send you something, but I will also give one of these away in this video. Let's see. Hey, <laughs> I wonder if he knew. I wonder if he knew that it would be Victor the Grunt. And the second one, whoa, there we go. It's the Spartan Frederick knockoff, <laughs> the Spartan Centurion. Wow, thank you so much, Ethan. That is so generous of you. Let's quickly pop these blind bags together. I've recently built a lot of these, so I'm kind of like a grandmaster at building these blind bags now. I'm sure that Ethan wanted the Victor the Grunt to be added to the ever amassing Victor army in my collection. I'm gonna be making some kind of diorama, including every single Victor. I want to amass a huge army. Oh gosh. It's also really difficult to build these. Like, it's it's no joke. Um, I don't know how they're meant to be built by, a, like, a kid. The Grunt especially is so complex, which is funny, because the Grunt used to be the easiest figure to build in the blind bag. He basically came pre-built, but now they've made him so difficult to build. It's a really funny turnaround there. So this Victor will be most definitely added to the army. I thank you for your contribution to the growing Victor armada, especially those shock rifles as well. That's great. So we got one there and let's build up the Spartan Centurion as well. This Spartan Centurion, if you would like to win this, all you need to do is comment down below saying long live the community and I'll pick someone at random in the next couple of days to send this Centurion to. Just spread the cheer, you know? Spread the joy. Spread these figures around. Halo Infinite Series 3 is still quite difficult to get for some people. Well, of course, especially... Ah, I don't know if you guys... I mean, I know you guys know. The torsos on these figures are, like, next to impossible to put together. They're so fiendish. I don't know why, but they just don't pop in, and you really need to, like, go out of your way to get them in. So it's because of people like Ethan and Elliot that I just keep this channel going, you know? People that really love the channel and that uh, wait for the video every single day. That's what motivates me to upload, you know, every single day, knowing that I can make somebody's day a little bit better. So thank you so much, Elliot and Ethan. And again, if you would like to win the Centurion, just comment down below saying long live the community. Like this video if you want, if you enjoy it, and subscribe with that bell on. And hey, we'll give away this Centurion and the Victor, the Grunt, will be added to the army. All right, thank you very much, as well as the dinosaur. Let's get the second fan mail open. There's a lot of things in this one. Okay, first of all, this really great rainbow 
picture. This is from Damien to Simon Key. Simon Key, aka the Mega Constructs Guy. <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> the Mega Constructs Father Christmas. Wow, look at those drawings, very nice. It says, to Simon Key, aka the Mega Constructs Guy. Dear Simon, I am INX Warrior, aka Damien. Yeah, INX Warrior, we talk all the time on Discord. I have watched your videos for years, even when I was really young. My favorite video was when you were in the UK, I watched your Mega Bloks Halo hauls with Craig and the other Simon. Uh, or the other Sam, you must think. Yeah, it was Simon and Sam and Craig, we did all the old haul videos. It's so interesting to me. The people that watch the videos now came into the channel when I made them with Craig like six or seven years ago, which I could not have possibly imagined would turn out like this in the end. Amazing. My favorite video from last year is your unboxing with your mom and dad. They were funny and your snow builds. I fell asleep to your warthog snap build, lol. <laughs> P.S. Can you give me a shout out for my channel? It is the username INX Warrior. Guys, if you can do anything for me today, please do follow INX Warrior on YouTube. He's a really great guy, really, really nice guy. He was also in my Christmas celebration video as well. You are the best YouTuber ever. You are funny and entertaining. Sincerely, INX Warrior, aka Damien. Thank you so much, Damien. That is so nice. What do we have inside the package? <laughs> Here we go. I told Peggy that this was coming in the mail. Wow. The United States of America Avery. Oh, so great, man. So great. So if you guys didn't know, Avery is like the mascot of this channel. He's deep in storage right now. I'd have to try and find him. But we have an Avery from the UK. That was like my very first custom figure. And it was the mascot, the profile picture of my YouTube channel for many years. And then when I got to Hong Kong, one of my buddies sent me a custom Hong Kong Avery with the Hong Kong flag on the back. And now here is the USA Avery as I've got to America. It's just such a beautiful thing. So thank you so much for this, INX Warrior. This is simply badass. But that is not all. We've got some more customs today. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh my lord. I didn't, oh, I didn't realize he sent this. A custom USA flood Avery. Avery's been infected by the flood. That is awful, man. Oh no. Poor Avery. Wow. So it's like literally the same figure, but infected by the flood. Has the same cape. Oh my goodness. Oh, Avery, I'm so sorry. And I think we got some more flood. We also have a Pokemon card. Snorlax, one of my favorite Pokemon. More flood. This time, a flood infected brute and a flood infected elite. This one doesn't even have a left arm. Oh gosh. These are actually really exceptional. Like, I love flood because there's no rules, you know? You can just mold them however you want. You can just strip parts off them. You can add clay in any direction. The uglier, the better. And with this brute especially, I think this is my favorite of the custom figures. I mean, I, you know, USA Avery. Maybe my favorite of the flood. Look at all the detail of this, like, flood tentacle around his arm and his legs. He's got a great little single green eyepiece sort of sticking out and even a custom claw, like a stabbing claw. Wow, that is that is honestly very impressive. I, I really like that one. I might have to do a separate video, maybe a YouTube short showing off these flood because they are so cool. This elite as well, it's gross. Yeah, he's got like the back plate sort of hanging off the side. It's not clipped in. This arm has just been filled in with clay. He's missing one of his mandibles and again, he's got a claw. A lot thinner, this claw, than this one. And this one's been used. That's why it's got blood on it. Maybe this bloody claw was the one that stabbed the elite in the arm and then infected the elite. That's the law that I'm going with. So, Inex Warrior, man, bravo. These are some really awesome customs. Good job. Hell yeah. All right, that's our flood out of the way. We got one more package today. This is something that I've been really excited to receive. I only got it in the mail yesterday. And after I got three of them, I was like, I need to make an unboxing right now. First of all, this is from one of my friends, Jacob. He reached out to me on Facebook and just explained that he's a big fan. He's been really enjoying the positive content that I've been making and he just wants to throw me something that I mentioned quite a while ago in a video that I really wanted to get my hands on. This is badass. First of all, inside we've got two 10th anniversary blind bags. We're gonna open one of them today. And we've got two download codes for Halo Infinite. They are from the Mega Constructs Buildable Energy Sword. So they're the Master Chief Charm, which is just so legendary. I gave one of them already to my UK friend. He was just so delighted. He's been trying to get it for ages and I'm gonna try and decide what to do with the second one. Like this is the Master Chief weapon charm. So I don't know, I gotta, I gotta find a good way to, to use that one. Inside we have a note. Hello, Simon. Here is the blank. I'm not gonna spoil what's in the package. You said you wanted a while back. 
Really enjoy your channel and your joyful attitude you bring. Here are some codes and some blind bags that you can pass on or keep your call. Keep up the good work and God bless Jacob. Hell yeah, Jacob. Thank you so much. This is a figure. I think it was on my top 10 once for Mega Constructs Halo Heroes figures. I mentioned this character and oh man, he's just so beautiful. This is a figure that comes with one of, if not the rarest set or maybe the most expensive value wise set ever made. Up there with the Scarab and the Spirit Dropship. This is from the NMPD Pelican. I've always wanted this figure. It's the Brute Chieftain. Wow, I like, like I've had many, many Brute Chieftains in my time. The first one from the Chieftain Chopper. I've always loved the figure. This came out with the NMPD Pelican even before New Articulation, but it has just beautiful paint apps, especially the frill on its helmet. Like it's a beautiful figure. And I'm just so delighted to finally have it in my collection. I got the Mickey from my UK friend, Jonathan, years and years ago when the NMPD Pelican first came out. I've never been able to get the Pelican myself. I don't ever want to pay more than retail for it. So I'm probably never going to get it, but this Chief man. Oh, what a beaut. Mwah. Happy to have you in the collection, bud. And if that wasn't enough, we also have an AC Green Spartan Recruit. This is from one of the original blind bag series, I believe maybe series eight or nine. And it's the chase figure, which means it wasn't advertised on the packaging. It just came randomly, usually one chase figure per box, but sometimes one every two boxes. And it also came in like a double stuffed blind bag that had two figures inside. Let's build up one of these figures. I think I'm gonna go for this one. Let's go. Oh, ho, ho, the brute, the best one of the set. Let's go. So Elliot, Jacob, Damien, thank you so much for this support. Like, oh, such incredible figures. Two Halo Infinite Series 3 blind bag characters, plus a really dope little dinosaur for my dioramas. We got some insane flood infected creatures, including the Domains Avery, and also a not so infected USA Avery. Then some final dope figures. The Gummy Recruit is a great addition to my army. The Brute Chieftain is something I've wanted for like five or six years. And this Brute Captain is a really excellent character. The best one in the blind bag, if you ask me next to the Spartan Recon and the Elite this brute is to die for so shout out to my fans and again if you would like to send me fan mail I'm not opening up this address publicly but if on a one by one basis you would like to send me something please do message me on discord or Facebook so shout out to you all thanks for the support you stay awesome you stay safe happy new year and the domain is signing off